Theory, open studio curtain one. What's up guys, today we're gonna to be talking about making your existing curtain smart with the SwitchBot curtain. And with the Hub Mini, it can support Alexa, Google Assistant, IFTT, and even Siri shortcuts, which is awesome, but it doesn't support HomeKit natively, unfortunately. So I tinkered with it a little bit and was able to expose the SwitchBot curtains to HomeKit thanks to Hooves. So we're gonna talk all about that today. I'm gonna show you how I did it, the pros and cons to doing that. And we're also gonna be doing another giveaway today, so be sure to stick around for that. I'm gonna share with you how you can enter to win some really cool stuff from SwitchBot. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using HomeKit with new videos released every Sunday right here. All right, so what y'all think about my little curtain rig back here? I actually don't have any curtains like this in my house, so I had to rig up this little uh, contraption back here so that I could test these things out for y'all. Today's video is sponsored by SwitchBot, so big thanks to SwitchBot for sponsoring this video. They've also hooked me up with some nice discount codes that I can share with you. I'll put links to that in the description below, and I've also partnered with them to do another giveaway. So stick around towards the end of this video and I'll give you more information on that. All right, so let's take a closer look at this thing. In the box, you'll get the SwitchBot curtain device itself. These little clips that you may need with certain types of curtains, a charging cable, and this little thing, which I'm not really sure what this is for. Now they currently go for $89 a piece, supports rail and rod type curtains, and is available in white and black. It has a rechargeable battery that they claim can last for eight months, depending on the usage, but they also offer an optional solar panel for 25 bucks. And you can also pair these with the SwitchBot remote like I have here for $19. Uh, some other cool features of this, it actually has a light sensor built in, allowing you to create like automations around that. You can also create schedules in the app or even pair it with a SwitchBot thermometer. So you can do stuff like shut the curtains when it gets too hot inside. Now, as mentioned earlier, you can also pair these with the Hub Mini for $39, which will give you the ability to use the curtains with the Google, IFTT, and Siri shortcuts. Once you have the Hub Mini paired in the SwitchBot app, you can just go to your curtain and tap cloud service and connect it to any of these cloud services. Now installing these things are pretty easy. They do tell you in the manual to go ahead and pair them with the app first. To do that, you just add a new device and choose the SwitchBot curtain. It'll ask you to select the open mode being left to right, right to left, or open from the middle. Now, if you have curtains like I'm demonstrating here that open from the middle, you'll actually need two SwitchBot curtains. Now, once paired in the app, we can go ahead and put them on the curtain rod. Now, first you're supposed to pull these little tabs down. Then put the device on the curtain rod press them as much as you can and then push the little tabs back in place. And lastly, you'll go through a calibration process so the devices know how many rotations it'll take to fully open and close the curtains for your setup. Now, insulation may be a little bit different based on the type of curtains you have and if you have a rod or rail track. For this little setup here, I had these types of curtains which I did have to use the included clip so that the curtains wouldn't get caught in the device. They don't look great, and on top of that, the SwitchBot is pretty visible with this type of curtain. I think it'll definitely look best when using it with something like the grommet style curtains where you can kind of hide it more, but it does work with all the different types of curtains, and you know, there's really good instructions in the manual that'll help you with installing them with whichever type of curtains that you have. Once installed, you're good to go if you just want to use them with the SwitchBot app. or as I mentioned earlier, add them to the Hub Mini to use them with any of the available cloud services, or you can go ahead and add them with the remote and control them that way. All 
Not bad, right? So the remote is pretty cool. Comes with a little sticky pad you can actually use and mount this somewhere. So they actually has two different modes you can use. The one mode is faster, which is what it's on now, which is a little bit louder. And the other mode I think is a little bit slower, but uh, not quite as loud. Now, as you may know, I'm pretty much all in on HomeKit. So I'm gonna see if I can get these to work in HomeKit so I can include them in my scenes and automations. Now I'll be doing this using Hoobs. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Hoobs, I will leave a link below on a past video that I did that'll kind of describe what that's all about. Now, before I show you how to accomplish this, there are a few things to note. First of all, this is sort of a hacky solution. So it turns out it does work, but it was not super reliable in HomeKit. I uh, just want to go ahead and let you know that from the get-go, I tested it a lot in scenes and automations, and sometimes it just didn't really work. Uh, secondly, it did require me to move the hoobs box closer to the curtains to get the most reliable performance. Uh, it's actually using Bluetooth, so it doesn't have great range. And lastly, you might recall a video I did not too long ago on the SwitchBot button presser. So in that video, we exposed the button presser to HomeKit using hoobs and IFTTT. And it also required using the SwitchBot Hub Mini. Now this method does work and I've been using it daily actually ever since that video was published for my coffee machine. So I'll put a link also to that video below. You should be able to use that same method with these curtains also. But since IFTTT requires a subscription now, I wanted to see if I could accomplish this without having to use IFTTT, which we'll now do. So I'm at hoobs.local, my hoobs dashboard here, and we're going to search for the plugin we need. So let's go to plugins, go to search. I'm gonna look for SwitchBot. And here we go, SwitchBot BLE. This is the one we're looking for. We're gonna install this. All right, so we've got it installed. Now I'm gonna right click on the details and open a new tab. And here you go, we've got a little bit more information. It's gonna tell us we need to install these libraries here. So I'm going to highlight and copy this. Over in Hoobs, I'm going to go to my terminal. And here, I'm gonna paste that library. We're gonna run that, get that installed. Next, we're gonna have to run two more commands, and I'll put all this uh, somehow linked below in the description. I'm gonna run that one. Now this last command. Again, I'll put link. I'll put all this below, uh, and that should be what we need now. Let's go to our dashboard, and let's just uh, restart the service. All right, once it's restarted, let's go to uh, let's go to our SwitchBot BLE configuration here. And now I'm going to go over here and look at this example configuration. And I'm going to take some of this here. I actually have a curtain example right here. So I'm going to take all of this copy and paste right here and I don't need most of these so I'm going to delete all these and delete this last one Delete that comma. So that leaves me with just this right here. So I can change the name. So you need to leave this as curtain. The name, this is what will show up in HomeKit. So I'm gonna call this, let's do curtain 01. Now this right here is going to be the MAC address of your SwitchBot curtain. So to get that, you're gonna to need to go into the SwitchBot app Look for your curtain, go into the settings, tap the three dots, and then you will see your MAC address. So I'm gonna type that in. Now this right here, the scan duration and move time. So I found that this 
actually, so I like to set this a little bit higher. This just gives the plugin more time to find a connection with the with the switch bot so it makes it a little slower but it gives it more time to actually make sure it can kind of complete the command so I turned this to six and that seemed to work for the most part made it a little bit better again a little bit slower but it works so I'm gonna hit save changes alright now everything is saved and now if we open up HomeKit, we're going to see our curtains here. So we can tap into this. We can scroll down. You'll see uh, manufactured even says switch bot and the model and everything. We can chat. We can tap this and change the icon, which is really cool to that curtain right there. Um, close this and let's just run it and see how it looks. And there you go, as you can see, they do now work in HomeKit. Now, like I mentioned before, I did move my hooves box closer to the curtains to get the best performance with this method, and I found that it does work most of the time. However, there are some times where it just doesn't work or I'll have to tap the little HomeKit tile more than once in order to get them to work. I'd say using my SwitchBot button presser with the IFTTT plugin has been a little bit more reliable Again, using that other method does require using the IFTTT account as well as the SwitchBot Hub Mini. And there actually is another way if you use SmartThings. Now my buddy Eric over at Modern Day Tech just released a video showing how you can do that using the SmartThings method, so I'll put a link to that video as well down below. But all this hacky, tinkering, home bridge kind of stuff aside, as far as the SwitchBot curtain itself goes, I gotta say, I am really impressed. It really feels like it's built well and the whole thing just feels uh, like it was well thought out you know it has been very reliable when just using the SwitchBot app and the remote and Siri shortcuts so if you've been struggling to find a way to make your curtain smart this might just be the answer and if you want to get it into HomeKit like I did hopefully you can use one of these methods we talked about today now I did mention a giveaway earlier so a little bit more about that winners will receive two SwitchBot curtains one SwitchBot Hub Mini, and one SwitchBot Remote. Now this is everything you're gonna need to get your curtain smart. Two winners will be chosen, one on Instagram and one on Twitter. You can enter each one of those if you want more chances to win. I'll put complete directions down below for entering that giveaway. Thanks again to SwitchBot for sponsoring the giveaway and for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if so. Don't forget to subscribe for new HomeKit videos published every Sunday right here. And to show even more love, go ahead and hit that join button below to become a channel member and get some extra perks. Thanks so much for joining me today, and until next week, we'll see y'all later.